All right, well, good day, everybody. Welcome back to another upload of It's a Dire Thing. So this is gonna be step two, part two, which is we finished doing the installation on the pod lights or the grill lights, I guess what you wanna call them, right? So grill lights here for the Jeep, uh, which is plug and play, but it is kind of uh, a bit of a frustrating moment, but we finally got it again. So you're running your harness in through here. It is a plug and play, comes underneath over inside the fender well and just around about there so again right here is where the actually factory connector is where you can actually plug it in so i'm going to put some images some uh, uh, information down below on this video but this video is about installing the front camera just like the rubicon for those jeeps who are running the z automotive JL Mini Taser, right? So that's the module. Again, there'll be a link down below uh, onto the Amazon page that you can actually order it up and whatnot like that. Um, but this, um, I actually obtained um, this camera here from Lux Auto. Again, I'm gonna put the link down below that you guys can click on it. Um, I bought this from them. I didn't buy the JL Taser one or the Z Automotive camera, though they have one specifically. Um, it was just so expensive. It was another $350 and I just didn't want to do that whereas this one here was 135 there isn't much information out there but it does still follow the same suit in regards to the installation and there's not much information in regards to what's included in with this kit so a lot of people think it's uh, not plug and play and a lot of people think that it's really hard to do but it's actually not so this is what this video is about is open box check the content and I'm just gonna finish connecting it up because I already actually have one connected. Um, I just had to swap out the camera because I did have a bit of a faulty with the camera uh, and it is under warranty, which was really good of the, the supplier to actually supply this to us. Um, but I wanted to show you guys exactly what's included and simplicity on how it, it, it installs, right? So um, basically, this is going to be connecting into the, the back of your unit, your, your uh, 8.1 um, radio, so the Uconnect 8.1. Um, this connects into the factory connector. There is the installation and instructions on how to do that. Um, this is an additional power wire if you needed it. You actually don't need it for the JL taser system. Uh, some heat shrink, and again, if you got to connect or splice into your... Uh, um, if you need to splice into you know power sources again we don't need that for this JL here is the actual camera um, so it, it, you'll have the the hardware also that fastens onto this don't take, pay attention to the green I just basically sealed this up with a little bit more of the uh, um, waterproofing uh, heat shrink because I am mounting it up onto the front um, and then it's just basically a connector a factory harness or not factory harness but a connector that will run all the way up into behind the radio Here's the actual harness here. So mine, again, is already installed on here. Uh, so it just basically runs all the way back and into the dash, there's a mounting, there's a port down behind the master or the booster brake system there uh, that allows you to uh, go into the firewall. There's a cap. Um, so you basically run your wire into the back, connect it up onto this, uh, or actually onto this one, sorry. Um, this is the one that connects up onto that, which then plugs into this, which gets your power source, and this connects into the auxiliary power of the Jeep. Uh, so again, sorry, I didn't think there was installation instructions, but there is. It's super, super simple on how to do. Um, literally, it took me probably around uh, 35 minutes from front to back to actually get it all installed. Um, there are a couple of videos on, uh, out there on YouTube on how it's installed. You basically follow the same uh, install sheet as, or the install videos as the Z Automotive. But anyways, there's no point in purchasing or buying a, a $400 or $350 camera. Uh, again, Z Automotive, I, I have nothing against you guys. I love the, the, the Taser Mini. It works really good for the most part on my Jeep, but I'm not gonna spend $350 when I can get the exact same product with the exact same finish and, and quality uh, from Lux Auto here off of Amazon. Uh, and uh, so I've went again with these guys. I'm just gonna finish doing the install. Um, fairly simple for us, right? Because we've already done the install. Um, we're just actually marriaging it up with these, uh, these lights here that we have. Um, so if you are not putting it on with lights, uh, you are not to cut you're not to modify or cut or trim any of these plastic pieces uh, because they basically, um, if you see here, 
Yeah, so basically I could I could have put it, I, I could bring it lower down. That's right, you got the wire on the one side that goes on the bottom, mm -hmm. and then the bolt, and then the big washer that goes on the top side that goes right there, see that? Yeah. So now, you know, if I wanted to bring this camera down lower, I could bring this camera down lower, right? Um, but it was up high, and I was able to see the winch, I was able to see all this at the same time, but at the same time, it still gives me enough height. So um, for now, because we've already trimmed out all this top piece for this light, I'm going to go ahead and do but not your, just the light. The thing with the camera now is this light is also protruding out and your camera lens is there. So will it, uh, will it shine on again? No, I don't think so. But you got to remember your camera doesn't there. have anything blocking that lens at all. Yeah, but it's all there, right? Yes, I know, but you still may have casting of orange. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. see. Yeah, we'll see once it's plugged in play. So again, it's fairly simple. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky because we already have um, Oh, I forgot, you know what I forgot to bring? I forgot to bring my, oh, I might have a lighter downstairs. Is that, is that an arrow there? Sorry, I can't see, I don't have my glasses on. Yes. That's an arrow? Yes. That's an arrow? Yes. Okay, there we go. I need to heat shrink that, so. But anyways, that's for there. I'm gonna put the bolt on there. Go grab the DR, get the keys, just start it up, or heat shrink it. <laughs> All righty. Anything one more? I gotta put this rubber. More? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's fine. As long as I think, this I think there. Intrude. And then yeah, that. yeah. See, that's perfect. This is why I think you should do it. I know, but how am I? I don't know how am I gonna get this to to the plate. Zip tie the plate or mount the plate up with. Mm. with black bolts, little black bolts or washers like you're doing with that. You could do the same thing. Yeah. Just cover this with the plate in the front. The light will cover it. Cool. No, but I do have this, which I think if I do this. Yeah, you're gonna cut the end off of it so it's thicker. Oh. Can you put the light down? What you could do is you could always cut it completely and take the lighter and just heat it back up and melt the melt the rubber on yeah. each other. Yeah. Super glue it. I can do that. Yeah. Put that some glue. In. Yeah. yeah. Glue somewhere or so it just doesn't pop out. Yeah, that works. Hmm? That works. Does, eh? Yeah. It fills it up. Uh, fills it up nicely, actually. Yeah, it's proper. Huh? Proper, it works. Shit, eh? Damn, it almost looks like we know what we're doing. So, all right, anyways, so now we got their camera mounted up there. Uh, I'm gonna take my marker and just kind of put it all black again because it was green. It's a green heat shrink. Right. Um, just add some adhesive to this just to kind of hold that. Um, let's get... Uh, I got some electrical tape, so I'll tape that up there like that. Uh, just to hold them both in place. Actually, this is what we'll use this tape. I think this is the, this is that, um, almost like the factory style, really cool tape this is, eh? This is a factory style um, uh, harness tape. Yeah. Um, I don't know if, oh, my scissors, if my scissors will work on that. Cut a little strip. Uh, cool. <clears throat> So, because then this will also help. What if I just shine it through real? No, it's no. shadow. But I want to put, yeah, one of the pod lights down here as well, right? And then shining up through here. So this whole grill front grill will kind of shine but up when I put my. You know what's going to make it look weird when you do it in the grill is because you're already going to have orange running lights. Mm. So it's going to take away from the orange. It's going to make all the lights not look bright anymore. It's going to completely illuminate the grill. Mm. I'd go red. Okay, here I need a uh, arrow and arrow. Yep. Arrow and arrow. You got the heat, you got the lighter. Wow, there you go. That's cool, man. Huh? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty stoked. I mean, it, it's not to cast light. It's only, no, it's, it's only marker it's lights, right? It's just marker lights, yeah, exactly. What's important is, is I get my, 
my camera light back up and running again. Yeah. Okay, those little caps that I got to go in there. You do that. And just <laughs> oh, I need, my keys are too far away. Let's get the keys closer up, just so I can put the ignition on and ignition on. And then again with the Taser JL uh, Mini here from Z Automotive, uh, you're able to kind of connect right into all the, the systems here. And there we go. So we can see Mr. Siege up front again. Yeah, I got my camera. Thank you again so much for the support and for the, uh, um, here, now we got our grill lights. Oh, I like that. Eh? I like that. that's nice and fancy, eh? Yeah. I like that a lot. Cool. So. There we go. Again, thank you so much, guys, uh, for, for your support and, and the, uh, the customer service on that. I'm super, super happy. Again, the, the content that is included in with this uh, mini camera is, is absolutely fantastic. You know, it's all factory connectors, um, really good quality, good build. Uh, so again, I don't see the point of, of having to spend, you know, the $350 uh, for a specific brand name when um, we get the exact same warranty, exact same service, uh, and the exact same product as per se um, with this kit here at fraction of the price. So this was 135 Canadian retail. Um, so that's really, really inexpensive. It does come with the installations. Um, there's a lot of videos out there actually that you can see uh, how people do it. Uh, so I don't really need to get into that. Um, you do have to take the, the dash apart for, for so to speak, because you do have to take the whole radio out. Um, so this cluster has got to come off. This cluster is going to come off. Your radio is going to come off. Uh, and it's all in behind here where you're going to go and, and not splice, but you're going to pin into the, the connectors. Just read the installation instructions. Um, it isn't really hard, honestly, um, for the most part. And then running your wire up through the front and get it connected there. Um, again, super, super easy. Oops. We're all plugged in, plug, plug, plug. Nothing in its way. When I close down the da uh, close down the hood, no. So there you have it. We are finally officially done. So I do finally got some marker lights. Um, I was kind of cussing and swearing a little bit there, um, but it finally got done. So we'll just kind of monitor that and see how it goes. If I have to kind of fine tune it and tweak it, we will. Uh, but for the most part, there you go, man. So now we got super marker lights previous video on how we did the install. Today's install was actually uh, about the camera, but that was more about the box and the content, not how to install. Uh, and then we got a couple of more things that we're gonna be doing here. So we do have some more lights. And uh, then very soon, um, because I had, it, I had it fixed. I want it to turn off so you can turn the lights on when it's dark. Oh. Because it looks good in the dark. You don't see any of the black. You don't see anything other than marker lights. Like a tow truck. <laughs> All right, I, I gotta go wash it. So, till next time, guys, y'all be good, you have fun, be safe. Don't forget, keep it covered. All right.